Pay compression has created concern among employers and employees. But what exactly is pay compression and how does it impact the workplace? Today, I will answer these questions and provide you with strategies you can use to combat pay compression in your organization. Now let's dive in. What is pay compression? As the name suggests, pay compression refers to the compression of employee pay gaps. This means employees are paid similar wages despite factors that should make a difference, such as job classification, seniority level, experience, or skills. In other words, employees who should be better compensated are paid the same or less than new hires, direct reports, or entry-level workers. Pay compression often occurs when new hires are offered higher salaries than experienced employees. In this scenario, the new hires are often paid more because they have more bargaining power and demand higher salaries. As a result, long-term employees who have yet to receive significant raises are left feeling undervalued and may look for other opportunities elsewhere. Labor IQ published a study in May 2022 that surveyed 20,000 job titles. It found that new hire salaries were 7% higher on average than salaries for employees in similar positions. That difference went up to 20% for more in-demand jobs like those in the finance and tech industries. Why does pay compression matter? Pay compression matters because it can cost you talent. When experienced employees feel undervalued and underpaid, they are more likely to leave the company for better paying opportunities elsewhere. This can be costly for the organization as replacing talented employees can cost time and money. Pay compression can also lead to decreased motivation and productivity among employees who feel undervalued. This can lead to a decrease in overall company performance. A common thought is, well, this wouldn't be a problem if no one knew what everyone else was making. Why don't you just ban pay discussions between employees? This is actually illegal under the National Labor Relations Act, or NLRA, which states, employees have the right to communicate with other employees at their workplace about their wages. You may have discussions about wages when not at work, when you are on break, and even during work if employees are permitted to have other non-work conversations. You have these rights whether or not you are represented by a union. A written company policy banning pay discussions does not provide legal cover either. For example, when an employee at a diaper supply company in St. Louis, Missouri was fired for violating such a policy, the National Labor Relations Board, which enforces the NLRA, investigated and found in the worker's favor. The company had to change its policy, issue the worker full back pay for her time off, and offer her job back to her. How can you combat pay compression? The answer to pay compression is actually the opposite of secrecy. It's transparency. The percentage of job postings that include salary information has been rising, especially in the wake of the Great Resignation. But it's still only about 17% overall. It is important to note, however, that legislation promoting pay transparency is currently on the rise. In recent news, New York City and the state of California have begun taking steps towards enforcing laws that will protect employees regarding compensation. New York City's pay transparency law made it an unlawful discriminatory practice not to include minimum and maximum pay ranges when publishing an open job position. Following in their footsteps, California lawmakers recently passed a law, SB 1162, that would require California employers to provide pay ranges when publishing or making known an available job. It is likely that in time, more states will adopt similar legislation. So even if your state does not require pay transparency, it may be a good idea to evaluate the benefits that it could provide to your organization. But why is transparency a prime method for combating pay compression? By including salary information in job postings, many employers fear they'll offer more than a candidate is willing to take, while others worry current employees will feel underappreciated by offering new hires more. 
There's also the concern that they could be disclosing information to their competitors. And it's also likely that some hiring managers are concerned that qualified candidates might self-filter too early if they post wages up front. Even with the best of intentions, it can be a little deceptive. While compensation isn't the only reason to accept a particular job offer, transparency can help set expectations for both candidates and hiring managers, making for a much smoother recruiting process. Compensation transparency mitigates pay compression by discouraging new hires from negotiating inflated starting salaries. Some candidates may scoff at not being able to negotiate a higher starting salary, but a reputation for underpaying current employees is arguably worse for recruitment. If the posted salary is no longer competitive and needs to be increased, current employees should know they're worth more too. Employers committed to fair and transparent compensation practices may even choose to initiate those raised conversations. A 2021 report found that 58% of employees would consider leaving their current employer for better pay transparency elsewhere. Employees feel respected when they know how their salary was calculated, and they also appreciate a commitment to equality and non-discrimination. Transparent compensation can directly impact retention. So while addressing pay compression could add to what is likely already your largest expense in payroll, not addressing it will only make compensation more complicated, deceptive, and expensive down the line. That's it for this HR FAQ. If you wanna learn more HR best practices, subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notifications about the latest HR Party of One and HR FAQ episodes. As always, thanks for watching.